time. A little bit of a different branding last year was, of course, at No Man's Land, but this year it will be partnered with Colleague. And, well, we have one heck of a tournament coming up today. It's running all day long, too. And, man, do we have some good teams here. To my right, of course, we have at the University of Akron. Of We all know their story. Their uh, insanely historic RLCS qualifier run uh, just a few weeks ago. And they're looking to build on that success as well here at the Saints X Colleague Invitational. And on the other side of the stage, it will be the hometown team of the St. Clair Saints looking for some redemption last year. They finished in the third through fourth spot, and they'll be eyeing a chance at that championship on their home turf. Well, that's going to be it for me now. we got two more people to introduce. We are going to throw this now to Seb Dot and Teo. Thank you so much. We are here with the Saints X Colleague Rocket League Invitational, a tournament designed to feature some of the best talent in Collegiate Rocket League. I, My name is Seb. I am here with Theo. How you yep. doing, dude? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and a great day for some Rocket League action. It's going to be an exciting day of games and I can't wait to get started. We have a lot of great games ahead of us. We have some of the top ranked teams from around the country here this evening evening, including our very own St. Clair Saints, which will be our first matchup this evening. It is going to be St. Clair versus Akron Glue. We say glue because it is the combination of blue and gold. That is their A team and their B team. Milio is stepping in for Tristan, and so that will be the Akron roster, a historic roster throughout the course of Rocket League. Akron, the first dynasty within CRL, and will look to continue that pedigree here this evening. Without a doubt, a very, very strong team and going to look to continue their dominance. Probably one of the stronger teams in this tournament. Definitely going to look to make it deep in this one. And starting off against the Saints, they're going to have to get off to a hot start because Saints have the potential to pull off the upset. Yeah, St. Clair featuring this new roster with Vesh, Christian, and Spoods, essentially combining the best components from both teams. And now I am personally very excited to see them in the server. I think this is a team that has a lot of top end potential with a lot of pop off power to them and of course with our first match coming up I think this is a great first test that we'll be able to see them here this evening going up against an Akron sure maybe not the one most 100% full powered but still very much an Akron that is dangerous yeah it's going to be a, a tough game for both sides both teams so so good and Saints, they've been getting better throughout the season and better and better, so it won't be easy for sure, but let's talk about the other games on schedule today. We have Davenport University and playing against Durham College after this one, and then after that we have Northwood taking on Durham. It's going to be a lot of good games today. Yeah, we have a lot of really good games, and notably that Northwood-Durham matchup is going to be an insane one. Of course, the rematch from the legendary Summer Series qualifier upset from uh, just last year. Of course... As we talk about these matches, I want to bring in the format discussions here. We are going to be having a round robin featuring all of the teams here. So they're each going to be able to play each other in best of five matches. We'll then be reseeding into a single elimination bracket where the quarterfinals will be a best of five and then semifinals and finals will be featuring a best of seven all for the prize pool of 20 or two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars as well as this beautiful glass trophy look at this trophy it's nice it's like an obelisk it's yeah it's beautiful it's beautiful and pretty nice prize pool would be nice for any team to pick up obviously all of these strong teams going to look to show out today. You know, lands, it's one of the first Rocket League lands we're having here at St. Clair. So hopefully everything goes well. Everyone has a good time. Everyone enjoys themselves. And at the end of the day, we just want to see some really good Rocket League. And we are going to see it here, of course, with the caliber of teams that we have here. We have the best in the country. We have some of the even more best in the country from all the way from first to the, through the top 10 and then some, as well as some teams that really are getting a chance to prepare themselves and really hopefully looking for their very first upset. We have teams like Davenport, like Conestoga, like GBSU, uh, Oakland looking to regain their claim to fame within Collegiate Rocket League, as well as Durham looking to showcase the top level pedigree along with St. Clair from Canadian 
Canadian Collegiate Rocket League, which is, at the end of the day, what matters most yeah. between us all here this evening. So we're just waiting for our first match to be set up, which, of course, is going to be St. Clair versus Akron. They're just setting things up. But as we move towards the stage and we talk about some of these different teams um, with our next match, which will be, of course, Durham College and Davenport. Uh, I actually drove down with Durham College. Well, Durham College was in a hotel. I drove down with Wildfire, who's one of the, the Durham College players. And he's been saying kind of how they've been cooking in scrims and how much they've been able to really improve and work on individual little micro things that has made them huge in the server, which is going to be huge going up against the number one ranked team in the world in Northwood later. Yeah, that's going to be a very, very fun uh, matchup to watch. As you said, uh, Durham has been getting a lot better. Northwood, kind of the top dogs, a very, very strong team. So that's going to be an exciting matchup. As we're about to get into game one, do you have, let's take some predictions. You know, what do you think the finals, the final matchup will be for today? You want me to call out the, the finals final. literally just, right now? Right now. Just to I mean, start, listen, start listen, okay, with, with, my, with my head... Okay, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be Northwood somewhere in there. But we are going to be finding out who may be on the other side of that as we get going with our first match here of the Saints X Rocket League, or Saints X Colleague Rocket League Invitational. That's a lot of words. University of Akron versus St. Clair College in this best of five. Yeah, but it's going to be Bullseye, Emilio, and Patty Rocket League on side of University of Akron. It's going to be Christian, Fesh, and Smooth for side of the St. Clair. We are underway in game one. It's going to be University of Akron. Against the Saints, it's going to be University of Akron on the attack early. Gonna love for some nice team. We're great done with their Familio, but no shots on her from the Saints. Go on counter padding. He's gonna be there to win that 50. Gonna look for a shot of his own, but Christian's gonna get the easy clearance. The Saints can maybe look for an attack of themselves. But he was gonna be able to find that save and no early game or early goals coming through just yet. I was a bit worried. Christian gave up possession quite early here, but. St. Clair already looking to make the regain on it. That is a good 50. Bullseye looking to keep it dangerous. Akron already swarming around St. Clair College with no reprieve in sight. Those boots able to collect a full tank. Will he be able to get over Bullseye? That'll be the big one. Bullseye able to get a touch. It's going to be knocked down, but no one will be able to convert. So St. Clair will have to try again. Yeah, and it's a pretty intense game so far. Saints going to look for an attack again. Christian, beautiful pass to Spooz there, but was not able to find the finish as Patty. Rocket League finds the saves. It looks like University of Akron are going for a little bit more of demolition play in the early game as they found a couple already, but it's Saints with the aggression, but just can't get anything to go in. University of Akron playing so composed on his defensive end. Patty Rocket League is going to take it around one there and going to take it over Vesh. Now going to look to start the counter, but Christian is there for the 50. Vesh is going to clean that one up as the Saints take it back towards their goal. Bullseye is going to look for something there. Going to find some nice bumps, and the pass comes through. It's right in front of the net, but nobody is there to put it in. Saints able to survive a narrow near goal situation there. Very, very close, especially as Akron were starting to turn up the Jets in terms of the aggression with the bumps. And St. Clair just willing to really slow down the pace of play, especially in the offensive half, but they have to be careful, especially with a team like Akron, who can be so quick in transition, with a player like Patty, who's just so aggressive. Christian was able to convert. Vesh is going to put one off the backboard. No rebound, but St. Clair will keep the offensive going. It's a very, very high level save. Oh, oh, you guys should look at that team play. What a save from Vesh as University of Action still on the attack. Oh, Vesh not going to oh, be able to oh. find the second save as Patty is able to find the first goal of the game and give University of Akron a 1 0 lead. There was only so much that Vesh could do. He had to pre jump for this. Patty even played it very slowly, but it was very accurate in the bottom right corner. So Akron able to kick this one off early. St. Clair. On the back foot, we'll look to continue their chances. Acker, though, already in the offensive half of things. That will be a strong clear for St. Clair. That's just going to be a given possession away, though. It's not really a good for a conversion. Without a doubt, and that was a dangerous opportunity for the University of Akron. The Saints able to defend that one. As they're going to need to find a goal back to get themselves oh. back in this game. Vesh, oh, going to look for that 50 with Patty. Going to find a beautiful touch there to keep University of Akron alive. And they're going to be able to find the clear here. Emilio and Patty working on the attack here. Can they find the teamwork? Beautiful pass there. But Christian's going to be able to find the pass 
out to Spoots. The counter is started by University of Akron. So composed on this defense. Saints just can't seem to get anything going. Ismilio is going to look for something. Bullseye is going to look for a pass towards the corner. And it's going to be a pass to Patty. But the clearance is there from the Saints. Both teams playing pretty solid defense. As Ismilio, yet again, going to start the counter. University of Akron going to look to put a second goal on the board here. But Christian is going to be able to find the clearance. And it's a bit of a ping pong match going on at the moment. Yeah, St. Clair having a hard time with getting the reads in the midfield and getting these challenges against Akron. Akron having a much easier time just with these full transitions. Going for passes, though this one might be dangerous. Emilio's going to have to reach. He does get the 50. St. Clair having one chance. Not able to convert. So this going to go to a Patty. A flick high. No one to challenge. Patty still looking to make it dangerous for St. Clair. As Akron continues their onslaught in the offensive half. Milio looking for a 50. Vesh with no boost to speak of. Patty in the waiting. One minute remaining. And St. Clair still no shot attempt. Even really getting close. Yeah, and there's going to be a shot on target, but a great save there coming out from the Saints as they've just been kind of locked down here. But maybe this is a chance they needed oh, a no. missed opportunity there from them for sure. But it was University of Akron all on the defensive end. Going to start off the counter. Oh Touch. my goodness, Millie, with a beautiful shot there. But Spoot's going to find the save as Saints have 30 seconds to find this goal to bring this one to overtime. But University of Akron doing such a good job of denying them any opportunities. Bullseye just making so much space here, forcing a couple of Saints to be on him. And it's going to be Saints with kind of their last attack. Let's see if they can get anything. Christian, that's going to be saved out by Bullseye Vesh. Still going to pick it up. Has 100 boost. He's going to look to go for the aerial plays, but University of Akron just so solid defensively. And with 10 seconds left, it's going to be a miracle. He'll come out from the Saints to bring this one to overtime. But they have a chance. Then he attacks. Demo. Beautiful demo coming Christian. from Vesh. Christian going to look for the finish, but the save is there from Bullseye. And that's going to be it for game one. University of Akron take I, it 1 0. I like the idea from Sinclair at the end. They were, that was the first time where we really saw all three of them commit to a play. Vesh going first man into demo. Spoods looking for the sidewall pass, but still it really came down to, I think, too much passivity in the defensive end of the pitch. I really felt that there was especially Spoods. He kind of ha was forced to play that really defensive third man, really playing that goal line defense as much as possible because Akron were throwing everything at them and a lot of that comes because of just no presence in the midfield. So I'm thinking that St. Clair are going to make some adjustments here, trying to get some of that midfield presence down. Yeah, they're going to need to make some adjustments as University of Akron kind of even locked them down and starting off the game, shots from Spoods off the cross Crossbar as Milio is going to be able to control that one. And it's going to be now Akron on the counter attack. Patty going to look for a pass into the middle. Is there going to be anyone on the follow up? Bullseye maybe going to look for a shot, but Christian's going to be able to find the clearance and there. Bullseye is going to take control in that midfield. It's actually going to leave it for Milio. He's going to go for an attack of their own. It's an off the backboard, but Spoods is there for the save. Another great save from Spoods. Bullseye going to look to pass it up to the corner, but Christian's there for the defense. And yet again, first 30 seconds, no kickoff goals, nothing crazy the game starts off 0-0. Yeah, you, you might look at Bullseye's attempt there and you'd be like, well, he just completely whipped him. But no, it's actually smart for Bullseye to go for attempts like that because it draws out more defenders from the goal line from St. Clair. It also allows St. Clair, though, to be able to get some more of these defensive line demos, which, especially with an Akron who has been almost entirely swarming them for the course of this game, gives them a bit of reprieve, a bit of a breath to try and collect their thoughts. Now, Vesh oh, is going to put one down is. and in. St. Clair College finally open things up for themselves. And that's a beautiful start for the Saints. You can see Vesh, he's just so deadly in the air, and he's going to be able to find the touch through the two defenders and give the Saints a very early one on we saw how good they were defensively last game. Can they hold on to this one? See how kickoff goes. It's going to be a 50 going over to the way of the Saints. But Milio is going to be there on the follow-up. The clearance should be there. But Milio is going to get it around this defender. Going to get it around oh, this defender. But Christian is there for the clearance. Good to have three line of defense there for the Saints. But the shot's on target what? from Patty Rock League. I believe Bolza found a crucial demo there on to Vesh, which led to that goal. Let's see it again. Patty's just going to take it around to Christian and Spoos, and it's just going to go in. And Spoos no! is not going to find the save, and Akron just tied up at 1-1 immediately. You can look at the replay. You could see Spoos had it. popped it out. Rocket League, <laughs> fix your game! <laughs> Spoods though, looking for the immediate regain on oh. it, almost getting the read on the waterfall attempt. Christian, can he keep it dangerous? St. Clair, wanting the run back for that whip shot. 
322 on the clock. Christian playing it slow. Spoons down pass. Good read by Akron. Yeah, Akron playing the defense very, very solidly here. Going to look to build offense off their defense as Bullseye is going to look to press up to Melio, but the save is there from the Saints. But all the three members of Akron are in this right corner. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Bullseye is just going to get challenged out of the air, and it's going to be good defense from the Saints here as they're going to be able to recompose themselves smooth. Tap the one through the middle, but Bullseye is going to find a touch here. Over to Patty. Let's see the teamwork off the oh, back of the net. Oh. oh my goodness, what a save on the line from Krishnas. That's definitely a missed opportunity. They're going to one back, and now the Saints on the other end. Spoo's looking to take a full court off the crossbar as the follow up's there, but Patty is going to be able to find the saves. That's now it's a way more back and forth game. You'll see this throughout the course of this tournament. The Patty for Akron is the X Factor. One of the most stylish players coming out of Akron. One of the graduates from gold, but it might not matter if St. Clair get themselves a lead in the second half. Vesh will have to reach for this one. You already see Milio waiting in the wing, looking to re-aggress as Akron continue with this pressure that they just have been able to execute so well. And even with the good defense from St. Clair, Akron have been able to force these challenges so they completely kill all the momentum that St. Clair might have on the defensive oh. side. Though that one peeks through, but no shot. Oh, definitely expecting a follow-up shot there from the Saints, but not going to be able to find it. And Akron now on the counter-attack, not going to be able to find it too, too much, but that's a crucial bump there. Let's see who wins at that 50. It should be Besh able to come out on top. So Patty's going to find a big touch there. Christian going to look for a touch as well, but won't be able to find anything there. Spoos should be able to clear this one out. Going to go for the aerial attack here. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with Milio there for a great defensive play. A minute 30 seconds left. Next goal might be the one to win it for either team. Matus able to get it. Patty going to pass it up to your teammate Vesh. He's going to be there for the clearance. Milio going to find the demo on to Spoos as Bullseye goes for the 50s here. Milio going to take it over the defender, but a great little there as the Saints should be able to clear this one out with a minute 10 and taking it's a very very close a second game between these teams though so, still dangerous for both of them as the clock winds down any goal might be the last that is a very risky clear attempt from Akron, especially with the demo attempt too. Vesh is going to put this up high, looking for the second touch, but no, leaving for Christian, who's not able to get there in time. Spoods, full tank, was able to steal. Breach, flip into an attempt. Christian, knocking it up high, over to Patty. Patty needs to show his presence in these last 30 seconds for Akron. Use some of his mechanics to really pop off here, though that's a catch and bump attempt as well as a goal from Vesh. 26 seconds left, Vesh able to find that one. Beautiful teamwork from Spoods as well, finding a crucial bump there. Saints go up 2-1 and they just need to hold on for a few more seconds here to take this game too. Kickoff is underway. Let's see how this one starts off. Bullseye It's going to get a great touch there. Patty going to look for an attack. Of but the save comes out from Christian and Saints just need to burn a bit of oh, clock no. here. Bullseye though, getting the ball in a dangerous position. Vesh going to be there for a clearance and Spoo's going to find the one as well. Beautiful demo to Bullseye from Christian with 10 seconds left. It's going to be University of Akron. We'll have to go all in, but that's a bit of a missed touch there from Patty. He's going to find the demo though onto Christian, but Spoo's just buying so much time here. As soon as the ball touches down, that will be the game. Akron Leo. need a miracle here. Bullseye going to go for that Bullseye. shot. Finds it over oh the God, defender. But the great touch there from the defender. That should touch down and that will take the series to a 1-1 score. Yeah, it was really that defensive touch that saved it. Bullseye was 100% going to get that shot. And in that case, forced the overtime. St. Clair barely walking away. And now you can see the coach just trying to calm him down a little bit. Akron, in turn, trying to figure out how they were able to lose that one. It was off of a just completely scattered 2v1 that Akron weren't expecting. All off a catch from, uh, catch from Vesh that was able to really open it up along with a bump from Spoots. Really, that is where some of the offense from St. Clair can pop off. But all that matters now is that Akron can continue with that offense, continue with what has worked in the past. That is killing challenges, good 50s, good offensive pressure, and be able to control the midfield. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, both teams playing so, so well defensively. Just that one tiny slip up where it was a two-on-one led to the Saints goal for the victory there. 
And as you said, Akron just need to keep up what they did in game one, keep up that offensive pressure. That game, they kind of let Saints get a couple too many opportunities out of nothing. And Saints definitely going to look to attack on the counter like they did. And we're going to get right into game three kickoff. Going to go the way of the Saints, but it's going to be into the territory. Going to receive oh, Akron. Nice. That's a huge mistake to start off the game. Christian's going to find an easy goal there. It was just a missed touch, I believe from Milio just doesn't hit the ball at all and Christian gonna give the Saints again a very early 1-0 lead. But even with the error, I do want to give props to the bump because that rotating player very much could have repaired that error just by a simple touch. But a lot of that goal off of the error was able to be made based off of the bump from St. Clair. So good opening from St. Clair on the kickoff. And now this one looks like it might be dangerous. That is a very awkward save that's gonna force the rotate. St. Clair, looking for the clear. Akron already behind. Melio, not able to get one on. It'll still be dangerous. Patty's going to go up high. Will get beat to the ball. We have from Christian. But now we can see how St. Clair is forcing the issue in that midfield. Fighting for that boost in the midfield and looking for every single challenge they can. Yeah, Saints have definitely stepped it up defensively here. Just shutting down University of Akron on all the angles. The shot comes out from Patty, but Spoods will be there for the save. And Spoods going to have a 50 here. He's going to look to go on the attack here. Gets through one defender, but Emilio is going to be there for the defense. Vesh now going to take it around a couple, but Patty's there to find the clearance. Christians, though, is going to get a nice little 50 here. But no follow-up from the Saints. University of Akron cleared all the way up, but they are down a goal. They need to play aggressively. And Saints just having the aggression this early in the game. Going to look for a second oh. goal. Beautiful team play from Vesh and Spoods. A St. Clair take a very swift 2-0 lead and now Akron are firmly behind in the back seat St. Clair with a beautiful transition that Akron was already showcasing earlier on now they're utilizing it to their own advantage St. Clair 2-0 lead Akron really don't know where to go now as St. Clair start to cook up the offense and that's a demo coming out from Christian there as Saints just playing with so much confidence right now. Vesh tries to leave for a teammate, but nobody's there. Saints still have to keep calm here as Vesh is going to find another demo on to Milio. Patty going to go on the attack, but Christian's there for the save. Bullseye though has the ball in a dangerous position, but all members from the Saints committing to that one, making sure no shot comes out. Milio though in a very dangerous spot here. Oh, no. Ball's right in front of the net, but nobody's going to be there for the fall. Bullseye. Bullseye is going to have to take that one himself. But what a save from Spoos there. Keeps St. Clair there two goals ahead as they're able to maintain the pressure here it's going to be Akron with another shot on target but bombs coming out from everyone drops right in front of the net of the Saints but Christian's going to find a touch there and Vesh should be able to find the clear here he's going to find a dangerous attack here University of Akron all scrambling to get back Patty is going to look to start the attack again for them as that's a dangerous opportunity for Patty but the what? missed chance I think there might have been a bump coming out there again off the crossbar Spoon's going to find the save as Saints maintain their two goal lead if there's one thing that's always been consistent consistent with St. Clair since the start of their journey into CRL is Spoods' incredible defensive IQ. He's been able to showcase this time after time, and he's showcasing it here against one of CRL's best. Oh, and now a double demo. demo, but Patty will be in the wing and just looking for that long clear. Double commit from St. Clair with half a game remaining could still be incredibly dangerous. Without a doubt, and Saints just able to play the defense so, so perfectly here. Spoods gonna start up the counter attack and look for a shot on target, but great defense there from Akron. Saints keeping up the pressure, definitely doing a good job. It's a great way to maintain their lead. Vesh gonna find a huge challenge there and gonna look for a pass to a teammate. Spoos might be there for the follow up, but it's a great save from Leo there. Is, it's gonna be Akron back on the attack, but Christian Patty in the air 50 50, gonna go the way of the Saints. Vesh is all the way up here, but Leo's gonna find that clearance over to Spoos and Saints just burning a little bit of clock here. Nothing too much cooking up on this attack. Spoos gonna look for a pass towards the middle, but Saints. Kind of giving up on that pressure. University of Akron need to get a couple goals back. Yeah, they need to open things up right now, and it's not going to go well if Vesh is going to be given that much freedom to attempt a, a shot. Akron, though, fumbling in transition now. What was so clean in gameplay is just starting to collapse a little bit. Patty will look to make things just a bit better as Akron will try and regain on the boost end of things, but they are so low, all three of them. They look to collect and St. Clair just continue to keep them starved, continue to drain all the resources. That's an attempt, but 
will be just short. And that's when Boza is gonna want back for sure. That was a dangerous opportunity, but one minute remaining and two goals down. Akron gonna have to really turn up the pressure here. Bullseye is gonna look to start at the attack. Gonna give it up to Milio. Nice little team play oh, here. Really? Beautiful shot on target from Patty, but it's just not gonna go in the net as Saints continue to hold this lead. The save comes out from Christian there, and he's gonna be able to tap that one into the corner. 40 seconds left. Bullseye gonna miss that one. Pass it off to Milio, but it's a great save from Spoots. The follow-up shot is gonna be coming out from Patty, and the save oh, is there from nice Besh from board. inside the net with 30 seconds left. Saints on the counter attack. Christian gonna look for that shot on target but a great save from Emilio, but the pressure is so, so good from the Saints of 20 seconds left. You have to think more than surely this third game's a wrap. St. Clair is a cast iron wall right now. No oh! Well, <laughs> cast listen, you gotta, you gotta cast a curse sometimes. <laughs> that was a beautiful transition from Emilio. Almost entire, actually almost, pretty basically all solo himself. Yeah. As he puts Akron in the backpack, looking to try and regain in this game three here against St. Clair College with one more possession left to do it. The last 10 seconds will wind down. Patty looking to force the issue. Bullseye looking for a bump, but he's not going to be able to get anything. So Elio will keep it in the offensive half. Knock from the corner, touch nice. to the ground, St. Clair take the lead in the series. That was a beautiful game from St. Clair. They got out early with those early two goals and then were just able to maintain their defensive stature, just not allowing anything until that last little mistake there. 13 seconds left, but taking a 2-1 lead over Akron here, they're definitely going to be feeling good about themselves. They have all the momentum going into this fourth game and they're going to look to close out the series right here. Yeah, though, I, uh, you can see Akron though. They're still in yeah. good spirits. <laughs> they're smiling. They're laughing. They recognize where they need to improve and where they really want to make some adjustments. So I have no doubt that going into this one, Akron will be trying to, I think, try and maintain that midfield control that they lost in that game three, which was so important to their success, not only because it, it was able to keep St. Clair boost star, so they weren't able to make those insane saves time after time, but it also allowed them to be a bit more maneuverable in terms of their offensive play. They were able to have the resources to be able to go for the solo plays that they want to, so Patty can literally just take it off the wall and do whatever he wants, um, but it also just uh, it kept St. Clair at bay. Yeah, without a doubt. And, I mean, Saints really turned it up a notch on the defensive, and, and that kind of led to their offense. They found some crucial saves in the start of the counterattack, and were just able to catch their opponents off guard. And we're going to be heading into game four. Saints on match point. Up to one in the series, but it's kickoffs can go the way of Akron Christian, though. It's going to look for a very, very early attack here as the save is there for Emilio Vesh. Going to find a 50 here, but Patty will be there on the follow up. Smooth in the middle. Look for 50 as Christian should be able to find a clear here. Yet again, no too many fireworks early as we start off the game 0-0. Yeah, I think it's just what, what's bugging me a little with Akron's play is just the, the reaction, the reactiveness of their plays. I mean, they, you know, they were trying to play off ball essentially. They, they want to play based off of St. Clair's contact, but they're not really executing it quick enough and they're just allowing these long ball clears from St. Clair, which they look like they might even be able to capitalize upon. And it's just completely deflating their offense almost every single time. Without a doubt. And it's going to be Bullseye, though. Oh. Beautiful attack, but Vesh is there for the save. Patty going to look to drop it off to a teammate here. But Saints, yet again, just playing that perfect defense to stay alive. Patty's going to find a demo onto Vesh, though. So it's University of Akron who have a lot of aggression in this game. But St. Clair College just need good defense here. Oh my goodness, almost a goal they're coming out. But Spoods will be there on the defensive end. Going to find the demo as well on to Bullseye. Spoods going to find another demo as it's going to be Saints looking to start their counter attack here. Christian going to pass it up to Spoods. Shot on target comes out, but Patty will be there with the save as 3.30 left in the game. No early goals this time. St. Clair almost finding the means to be able to extend their offensive possession now. Collecting that midfield boost is going to keep Akron at bay just a little bit so they can't just keep going after them time and time. Two minutes into this game, Akron have been able to get a couple shots on, but oh, this one looks cool. like it will go through. Milio finally netting one for Akron. And there was a crucial demo coming out there, which led to that one, but a nice finish from Milio as there was no 
goalkeeper in sight and University of Akron gonna find that first goal put themselves ahead as they look to take the series to all five games kickoff though going the way of the Saints they have a little two-on-one opportunity here but Milio's gonna find that save Christian though gonna look to take it off the back of the net himself but the follow-up will not be there just not enough boost for the Saints early on into this kickoff Vesh gonna look for an attack but a beautiful Touch there from Milios. Akron putting on a bit more aggressiveness in this game, not really giving Saints any room to breathe. We can again see Spoon's IQ a bit at work here, though. This uh -oh. one might be dangerous as double commit proves to be a little bit dangerous on the Sinclair side with limited options for them to work with as the boost winds down. But now they're fully locked in. They have a full tank. They're prepared to use it. Akron looking to try and just re-aggress, even with the lack of boost. That's how good they think they are. But this oh, transition mistake. will make them pay for it. You can only do so much when you expend all your resources, guys. Yeah, without a doubt, you called it perfectly. They used all their boost for the attack and just could not get back on defense. Saints capitalizing yet again on that counter attack and gonna be able to tie this one up with 220 left now one, uh, one goal is all that separates these teams boots gonna find an early attack there but a crucial touch from patty is gonna be able to save that one now now it's gonna be university of akron on the attack christian gonna be able to find that clearance patty though in the air should find a couple of touches himself gonna pass it down to milio he's gonna kick the ball up to spoos as Gonna be maybe Saints on the attack here, but Bullseye is gonna find that clearance to a teammate. Can they find the center? No, Christian will be there on the defensive end. They're gonna look to start the counter yet again. The Saints, as University of Akron, kind of let off the pressure a little bit. A little bit. And I do want to remind everyone here that remember that University of Akron are the second seeds of this tournament, and they are losing <laughs> to a St. Clair College right now, who is third seed. Yeah, it's a close matchup between the highest seeds in the tournament, but St. Clair just out of nowhere felt like yet again, they really have too much boost or too much setup, but able to find another goal as they put themselves ahead in this game four. They're up in the series 2-1 as well. Gonna have to be clutch in these last moments to close this one out. Oh, oh that was one great save from Bullseye, cutting off that pass, but a good attempt from St. Clair. Reactiveness in the midfield to try and get these passing plays down. It's just it's showing how proactive they are against Akron right now. They're not afraid to deal with them on any end of the pitch, and especially when they're whiffing attempts like this. Yeah, it's University of Akron definitely having some shots they definitely want back, but it's great defense from Saints in the end. They're still able to find these crucial saves with a minute left. Spoods gonna look to put a third one into the net of Akron, but it's gonna be good defense from Akron with a minute left. Akron desperately need a goal to keep themselves in this series, but it's Saints putting on all the aggression. And almost again, you can see St. Clair, they're playing off the defensive touches right now of Akron and just being very chill with it. Not having to overextend too hard, though I wouldn't recommend controlling at the goal line as Akron, they've showcased they will dunk you again and again, and now this one may be open. Akron to rotate back just to get the save. 30 seconds remaining. Saints gonna find a crucial demo there. That's all they need to do is just play keep away for a little bit here. Vesh gonna just keep the ball up at bay there. Vesh yet again gonna find the touch. It looks like final attack territory for University of Akron. They're all on their backside. Bullseye has no uh, boost there. Patty doesn't have much boost either. And with 10 seconds left, Saints just need to keep this one from going in their net. Five seconds and ticking. They're gonna go for an attack of their own. Good 50s coming out there. Demo comes out. And it's gonna be University of Akron who need to find something on this counter attack. There's gonna be the shot off the back, but it won't be able to get in. A St. Clair Saint able to take the 2 1 victory in the game four and the series 3 1. St. Clair getting the upset against Akron here. The third seed beating the second seed. And either they're laughing or Patty's crying, and I can't tell the difference. But that means that Akron will start off 0-1, and I don't think he wanted to lose that one. And I can understand why Akron have had such a high reputation in the past, not only just against collegiate teams, but in RLCS level gameplay as well. And this isn't how they wanted to start their tournament. Guys, shake it off. Shake yeah. it off, okay? Warm-up games. You guys had to drive across the border. That's fine, okay? <laughs> You're allowed to lose one. This is what round robin's for. So shake it off. 
get ready for your next one. Akron is still going to destroy everyone. So we're not going to have to worry about them too much. Yeah, I mean, the Saints really played very, very well. And Akron had a lot of good opportunities. But as you're saying, they had to go for a long drive. Early game, uh, early morning, first game jitters of the tournament. Could be anything, but yeah. you could definitely see the quality of play is there. Just because they couple, didn't have their coffee. Maybe that's the case. But they had a couple opportunities that they definitely should have followed up on. And I'm sure as the day goes on, they will perform at a much higher caliber but congratulations to the saints as they're able to find the upset 3-1 yeah again this is a roster that we wanted to see more of especially as it was made this is one that i saw okay we were finally getting the best pieces of the academy roster along with the main roster and now we get to see it on stage and they're taking it to the second best team in the tournament there's only one more team that is really better than them and that is of course northwood university but for akron of course i think so much of it came down to just confidence in their game plan they had a good idea going they were able to utilize their speed and utilize their pressure to great effect but the moment that St. Clair was able to break out and transition take that midfield boost away from them and force them into these awkward scenarios they didn't really know how to respond and so as for Akron I fully believe they'll be able to come back especially against some of the weaker teams in this tournament and no doubt they'll make playoffs but for St. Clair I, I still think this is such a good first showing without a doubt let's take a look at some replays from the game that was a very good one to see some of the best moments this was game one saints were not able to take this one akron really started off hot and it was a great save great from Vesh coming out there but just a miss there as patty gave the university of akron an early lead yeah and and so much of what made St. Clair great here was just these goal line saves. This is like vintage St. Clair from the CRL days, from CRL Worlds, from, from Summer Series, all of that. What made them great was just spoods on the pitch, getting insane saves, and then immediate counterattacks. That's kind of what the St. Clair MO was. And it is nice that we're able to continue that because like with Vesh being integrated into the roster, with Christian still following that rule set essentially for the team. I think it's a style that works. And when it does work, it really bangs hard. But even with goals like this from Patty, they weren't afraid to immediately come back, take it right to them with this play. Besh going in, getting the bump, being able to leave some room for Spoods, going to knock it off the backboard, and immediately Besh with the catch, Spoods bump and in. Great team break there from the Saints. They were able to take the game two with that goal there. In game three here. Yeah, it was a it was a good start for the That's Saints just, as yeah. they instantly got a one goal cushion and then 40 seconds later they were able to pick up another one Christian going for the attackers. The University of Akron just kind of got caught off guard it felt like on the counterattack Saints just found goals seemingly from nothing as Vesh just finds a full court pass to Spoods. It's beautiful teamwork but definitely a mistake from the University of Akron that they're gonna have to fix up on. Yeah and I, I like the idea of like Patty he was he was trying to just maintain that midfield pressure by getting the cutoff early right but it really just wasn't a good challenge and it left Bullseye in an awkward scenario where he was playing that last one. But in this case Emilio it looks like okay maybe Akron have some Something left to fight for they weren't able to do it st Clair takes the three or the two one lead in the series and now in this one akron was actually looking like okay we're back on form we're playing speedy we're doing all right they do well enough and then with spoods and oh man patty and Milio just combined for an easy one two and it's a tie game yeah and then the saints were able to find the game winner here. Let's see how this one again on the counter attack. Spoods just kind of takes it over the whole defense himself and gets into some crucial and bumps here. Patty with an unfortunate touch there, which just leaves the ball in front of the net. And that's how Saints close out the series. And if you look at that play, you can see immediately how Besh and Christian follow up with the solo play. They're not just sitting idly and just following for the rotate. They are going in the midfields. They're collecting boosts. They're getting bumps and following Spoods' example so that based off of the defensive touch, they can immediately react and Akron has literally nothing left to play with. And that was an amazing series coming out. I believe we have some pl a player interview coming up. In just a second, we have one after every game. So much fun to have Alan. So let's throw it over to his and let's see what he has to say. Wow, what a start to this land. Maybe already the upset of the day. St. Clair coming in with a hot 3-1 of Akron. I'm here now with Spoods. 
Ben, take me through that series. Um, you guys come in as probably a major underdog against a team like that. What, like, what clicked for you guys? Um, I don't know if I would say we were major underdogs. I think um, Akron definitely gives us a tough time. They are a hard matchup for us. Uh, but with that said, we knew we can win. We just had to play our game. Um, I think they came in a little bit nervous, which helped us out early. Um, they definitely turned it up. A lot more demo pressure. Um, I think we were fine, though. Again, we have a good game plan against them. I think as long as we don't get nervous, we're pretty much chilling. So. Now, you guys had Scholar come in at the beginning of the semester. Just talk to me about his impact on the team and uh, how he's prepared you guys for this tournament specifically. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bobby, um, full credit to him. You know, we really can attribute a lot of our improvement from his, uh, from his coaching. Uh, I think, like, the big difference for us last year was not having that voice in our ear to kind of help us with adjustments mid-game. Um, so, yeah, no, he's, he's been massive. Bobby knows how much we appreciate him. So, yeah, for sure, he's huge for us. Now, you guys still have a long road to get to the Grand Finals. You want some redemption from last year as well, I'm sure. Um, you, you have two more pool play matches coming up. Uh, how do you guys feel going into that, and what is your goal coming out of pools? Um, I mean, yeah, obviously we want to hit it with a strong 3-0 uh, coming into playoffs. I think uh, every match is hard, though, really. like uh, Just because we beat Akron doesn't mean we get free rides. So we're, we're taking every team serious, just one game at a time. Well, thank you so much, Ben. GG's, well done. Uh, wow. What a start. I love the noise here in the crowd. What a start to this Rocket League Invitational, the Saints X colleague. And, uh, well, that's going to do it for round one of pool play. We'll be back in just a few short minutes for round number two.